Okay, so here we'll do some more testing with our new neutron bubble detector from Bubble Tech. And I actually have the cases reversed. This is a 2021 20, uh, sensitivity. And, um, okay. And here's some thorium nitrate from United Nuclear. And I actually filled the uh, container up with heavy water. Okay. So it is a thorium heavy water reactor. You can definitely see the activity of the counter increase when we put our sample in front of it. I may have to uh, maybe put some more thorium in there. But let's uh, let's get out our bubble detector. Okay. Come on. They want you to keep it in these uh, sealed containers because maybe they leak pressure over time or something. That becomes a problem. Who knows? Let's see, this is, let's see, it says 21 on there. 21B per milliram. Okay. And the way you uh, set these uh, bubble detectors, you gotta unscrew this, which lowers the pressure inside of it. I think it has some kind of piston or something. And you can just store it on the back, or you can leave it separated. Okay. And I'm going to put it down here. And I want to tape our little thorium heavy water reactor onto this, this uh, spool of solder just to hold it in place. So we'll hold this guy in place above our detector here. Okay. And we'll let that run for 24 hours. There we go. And then we'll see if any bubbles form. Okay. There's our micro thorium heavy water reactor. Okay. We'll see how that works out. Okay, so we left this running for 24 hours. This is our heavy water uh, thorium nitrate uh, heavy water reactor. And here's our bubble detector. And let's just take a look at that. I think I see a bubble in there. Can you... Let's get this down here. See, I think there's a bubble right there that definitely looks like a bubble. Okay, just see one. But it's definitely right about there. So it looks like maybe we're producing neutrons with our uh, thorium bubble reactor. You see that? Okay. Right about there. Okay, so anyway, let's, uh, looks like that experiment was a success. Looks like we did create a bubble in there. Let's uh, recompress this and put it back away. And uh, save it for the next experiment. Okay.